Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. Wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. If this is your very first time to this channel, run over there and subscribe for me. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell. Beside the word subscribe, so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of us, there's some things that we do. And we do every day that's gonna help us grow. Those things are comment, 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 like and share, and go on, take for the team. Comment, like and share, and go on, take for the team. Come in, like, and share, and don't forget to come in, like, and share. Come in, like, and share. Come in, like, and share. Don't forget to come in, like, and share. Come in, like, and share. Come in, like, and share. Don't forget to don't need to come in, like, and share. Okay, you gotta check this out. We go ahead and pray. We're gonna get into the good news. Here we go. Hey, man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Over here on the side. The business in the building, y'all. There you go, there you go, there you go. Hey guys, also, Lil B has nothing him a nice call H2O. Also got my lip top tops. And if you like your bottle, look where I'm talking to you. Blue. Hit that link right there and you get your lip top top. And your lips merch. Okay, you guys, also today I have got a Jamaican SOF soap drink pineapple that we're going to be trying out today as well. Let me get it open. Let's see. See, it is refreshing. Y'all see what it is? It's a Jamaican SOF. Soft drink. It's a pineapple. Let's see. Take it like I said. Soft drink. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got a date for the poop. Baby, we've got Crunch Heaven. I don't know who it was. I can't tell you. We start telling no lie. But somebody kept asking me to eat Crunch, okay? So here we go. We got a wide variety. Uh, this is made by uh, a restaurant called Crunch Heaven. Um, and they are located at 6035 Peachtree Boulevard, Atlanta, Georgia, 30360. Akira was our, um, uh, server and she was great. Thank you, Akira. Okay, you guys, so this is what we have. Over here, we got Crunch Fritters. In the middle, we got Grill Crunch. The white rice goes with it. Over here, we got Crunch this here is crack crunch over here. It's fried and it is over peas and rice. I got plantains. Um, this here is called crunch salad right here. Let's say it's like ceviche. It has tomatoes in it, but I took them out. That's crunch salad right there, y'all. Okay. And then here's the plantains back here. And then this thing here, this fried bread the right here is like a festival. It's called festival. It's like a fried dumpling or something. Okay. So. This here is a big old piece of rum cake to y'all. So this is a bo Bahamian. <laughs> How was I say that? They're from the Bahamas. So this is a Bahamian Conch Festival. Let's get to eating. This little sauce here, y'all. She said this is going with the fritters, right? Yeah. No, the fried crunch. So this up here. Above them. Can you dunk it in? Okay, y'all. So we're going to try this one up here first. This is the crack crunch. Crack crunch. Am I saying it right? Yeah, crack crunch. Okay, so it's fried. Here you go. That's what it look like. Okay. Baby, look up and give me the definition of what crunch is so they'll know what I'm eating. They don't really taste like seafood. Mm, let's get into it some more. Here's some rice and peas here. Mm. 
It, it comes is a tropical marine mollusk with a spiral cell that may bear long protection and have a flared lip. Mm. Okay. So it does come out to see. Mm. Let's move around. Okay. This is fried. Um. Mm. It doesn't really taste like seafood to me. But, okay. This here, maybe I get the real taste from this here. This is a, um, the conch salad. So, it's more in a, I would say, in a pure form. It has jalapenos in it, too. There it is right there. Okay. That's good. Mm-hmm. It still doesn't have an overpowering taste to it. Mm-hmm. It just kind of tastes like I'm eating meat. <clears throat> but that's good. Mm-hmm. The flavor in that is everything. Mm-hmm. Um, to me, it kind of um, puts you in the mind of, um, you know how you eat white fish? And it doesn't really have a, you know, it's just a real light, um, anything taste to it. It puts you in the mind of white fish. It doesn't really have a real definite taste to it, but you can tell there's meat in your mouth. But I really like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, I remember when we were at the restaurant, one of the guys over there that were ordering it that had it before, he had said that this gravy off of this grill one to put it on the rice, but it's fried one. And let's see, I'm gonna taste that. Mm. 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 That is nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, this one here in the middle. This is the grill one. Here. It comes in like a soup. Oh, but it's got some of that fried stuff down there, too. Some of this is up in there. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Thank you. Okay, y'all, this is the grill one. It's got um, jalapenos and onions and things stuff in there and everything. There it is. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. Let me hold on. <laughs> mm. All right. Let's get back to it. Uh, looks like it's got stewed tomatoes in there and everything and everything. Jalapenos, onions. Skill a little dab of all of it up on the spoon. Okay. Well, I already show it to you. All right, let's taste it. Hold on, let me give me some rice. Cause this is supposed to go with this white rice. See if I can get it all up here together. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well, I really like that. Mmm, 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 mmm. Well, I really like this one. It's grilled. I don't know what that is right there, though. I think I have like a sweet taste to it. I like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, and this is a fritter. This is a crunch fritter. She's not going to dip this in the thing. Yeah. I'm going to taste the fry. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Don't look on the inside. It's all right. Um, it doesn't have an overly, nothing has an overly powerful taste to it. Um, this here has the most flavor so far, but I like this here way better than this. This grill is the beat. It is. Now, that's good. This is good too, but this right here is just swanging. It is. That's good. Mm hmm. So so far, this is my favorite. And then this, but I haven't tasted anything that I wouldn't eat again. Okay. The peas and rice are quite a really, really nice flavor. I like it. Now y'all know how I am about plantains. When my plantain is sweet, I don't like it. So here we go. Let's fry plantain. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Hold up. Mmm. That piece of rice is good. Mmm-hmm. This crunch has like a chewy texture to it. Kind of like squid. Just not as chewy. But that same kind of bouncy thing in your mouth. Plantains are good. Not overly sweet, but sweet. That's good. Now, y'all, this thing right here is called a festival. This right here. Mm hmm. Now, I'm saying it feels like bread. She said it's like a fried dumpling. I don't know if this, this goes with anything. I don't think so. I think you just eat this. Let's see. Mmm. It's got a little sweetness to it. Like a donut. Mm hmm. That's good too. Everything good. Okay. Okay, Akira. Okay. Is that a right? That's it right. That's it right. Yeah, Akira. Okay, it's good, y'all. Yeah. All of it is very, very interesting. Oh yeah. Mm hmm It's all very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I think I can try everything now except for the rum cake. Yeah. This here, I would definitely these two right here. Akira. Look me up, boo. <laughs> well, these two right here are the best to me. Akira says she like this the best. Um and it's good. It is. The peas and rice are really good. Um, but for me, this here is the best thing on the plate. This high too, for real. This the bowl right here, y'all. What you see? With twenty dollars, twenty dollars, eighteen fifty plus tax. But that's worth it. But sure. y'all. Mm-hmm. This here is definitely worth it. Uh, this here is busting, busting. It's busting, busting, busting. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's just good. Mm-hmm. I love it. For real, even if I wasn't eating it, I'd like to have the whole meal. I would swing by, mm-hmm, just to get this. It puts you in the mind of a, like a ceviche. It does. It's got that freshness, that 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 kind of thing to it. But that's just good. So, I like it. I'll definitely be going back. Mm-hmm. I'll definitely be going back.
Mm -hmm. You get a whole lot of this um, fried thing for your money. The um, crack, crack cunt. Mm -hmm. You get a whole lot of it. Mm -hmm. For your money. Mm. With that dipping sauce, I see what you're talking about. But this is still my favorite though. So it's all good. They come from Crunch Heaven. Mm -hmm. Y'all go visit them. It's good. Like I said, for my taste buds, this right here and this right here is beaten. Uh, Y'all say ain't put no salt, no pepper, no season. It's all seasoned very, very well. Um, the only thing I feel like I was missing in the beginning, I didn't understand. I was looking for the punch itself to have like a, you know, like when you taste whiting, you know you taste some whiting. When you taste catfish, you know you're tasting catfish. Or when you, you know, you know, salmon or mackerel, you know, they have a distinctive taste to them. You know what you're eating. This is not like this. This kind of sort of, to me, blends in with whatever is around for me. Okay. Mm. But I really like it. I really do. I really like it. I really like it, y'all. I wouldn't have to have any rice for this one. This grilled one, I wouldn't. Um, but it's served with it, so I don't know if it's like another one of them things like they do with chickens where they just put it in there to like, um, you know, to stretch it. I'm not sure. Mmm. Mmm. The texture prof profile on this one here is magnificent because you got this little thing here. I don't know what this is. It has kind of a sweeter taste to it. And then, this down in here is more like the um, texture of this. Then you got your green peppers, your onions, your stewed tomatoes down in there. Jalapeno, not green peppers, them jalapeno. Um, but the texture profile, when they come together in your mouth, this even this here, to me, y'all, this here may even be a plantain. It may be because it's got like a little sweetness to it. That may be a plantain. Uh, you know, because it tastes kind of like a potato, but it's got a sweetness to it. I'm going to have to find out what's in this here. Uh, because all it marinates per perfectly. Like, perfectly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But this right here is heavenly to me. Uh, of course, I had to take the tomatoes out of mine. Um, so if you had ordered it originally, it would have potatoes in it. It's got um, jalapenos in it, so it does have a little kick to it, which is great for me. This here tastes like a fried donut. Mm -hmm. That gives you a hint of a fried donut. Mm -hmm. I would definitely be going back here, y'all. Like I said, 2023 now, we trying new things, y'all. We are. And this is loving. I hate to say it, though. Akira told me this was her favorite. Without the peas and rice, it's my least favorite. These fritters are good. It's all good, but I was expecting for this here because it was fried. I was expecting it to be beaten, beaten, you know? Uh, and it's my least favorite. Uh, out of all of them. Without the pizza and rice. When you add it with the pizza and rice, you got it. Because it just adds some of the profiles to it. But just by itself, this is my least favorite. The fritters, the frit fritters busting. It's got a little piece of content as you're eating it. It's like a, like a, um, what am I trying to say? Like a, a soft or a um, more spongy, um, what do you think I'm trying to say? Uh, did you get from Captain D's? Hush puppy. It's like a spongy, kind of moist hush puppy with bites of that crunch in there. That's good. Um, now, this is the rum cake, y'all. This is the rum cake here. Keep in mind that, y'all, these people are from the Bahamas. So, hey, let's see what they're talking about on the rum cake, y'all. Mm. 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 
Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. Um, it's rum cake. But it's got this. <laughs> mm. It's got this hint of um, like banana nut bread. Hey, Corey! That's good. <laughs> that's good, y'all. Y'all, that's good. Woo! Mm -mm -mm. I know the thing in the big show. But how y'all doing today, y'all? Mm -mm -mm. I love this. I do. That cake. Mm-mm-mm. That cake busting, 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 busting. Y'all, it's so soft. Look at it. Look, look. You see how soft that is? Oh, glory. That's busting. I'll definitely be going back here again very, very soon. Definitely. Then they got all these different, like, Jamaican soft drinks in there. Now, who they got some kind of... Sorry, I think it's called, like, I think it's called Sorry or something like that. I asked him when he come back in, he take you walking Gucci, but I got a lot of like Jamaican and uh, drinks in there from the Bahamas and stuff and stuff like that. But y'all, I love this. I do. This is really, really good. Whoever told me to eat it, you've been telling me for a while. I'm sorry, but I did get to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just a mollusk. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I just feel like it takes and absorbs the um flavor wherever around it for me. But this here is the most interesting thing on the plate. The grill one. Baby. Because it has a lot of different um I know some people are texture people. Uh, I'm not really a texture person unless I know something's supposed to taste. You know, it's supposed to have a certain texture to it, and it's not. Nah, I have a problem with it. Um, but I'm not a texture person. Before I don't like slimy or I don't like da da da. I'm not that type of person. But this here has three or four different texture profiles in there that make it absolutely wonderful. <clears throat> this here, I think I eat all day. Mm-hmm. If you like some VJ, you're definitely like that. Mm-hmm. I really, really like it, y'all. It's called Crunch Heaven. Mm-hmm. Crunch Heaven. Mm-hmm. And it's all good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, Tara, I hate to say it, but I kind of agree with the young man. Putting this gravy on this rice, it is good. Mmm. Another piece of rice, baby. Woo! Out of here. Mmm. It has such a good flavor. I love it. Mmm-hmm. Hubby and I would definitely be going back here again. Soon and very soon. Mmm-hmm. Mm. Mm hmm. So, if you like crunch, I would definitely suggest this restaurant for you. If you've never tasted it, from my taste buds, I already told you what to come, I mean, what to go with. Um, the fritters are nice. Um, to be honest with you, everything on this plate um, gave me an unexpected adventure in my mouth. It did. It really, really did. Um, probably a good thing that I like to fry it the least. Um, cause you know, fried food, so I need to be cutting back on them. The plantains are good, they have a sweetness to them. Um, not syrupy sweet, or they have a sweetness to them. I like that. And the rum cake, 
out of here. Swing it for the rafters, baby. That rum cake is delicious. Now, like I said, when you first bite into it, your senses get this thing like a banana nut bread thing. No oh, glory. This food is delicious. And then, what's the listen? I would eat everything I got up here again. And even with this being my least favorite, it's still good. It really, really is. I call this peas and rice, baby. And then you eat a lot of it for your money. Um, just this fried one. You eat a whole lot of it for your money. Mm hmm I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Like salad. They make it to order. That's how I was able to get it without any tomatoes. Mm, it's so fresh. I love it. Mm -hmm. So whoever told me to eat cunts, thank you. Um, it has definitely widened my variety in my taste buds, for sure. Um, and I like it. I do like it. You see what I keep going around back to, don't you? This right here's so good. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely worth. Like y'all was in the restaurant. I was like, 16 ounces? For $20? Yeah. But this is worth it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll go up $5. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm just playing that. But, y'all, yeah, this is really good. So I read the neighborhood. I gave you a dress. And you want to try something new? Or you like crunch? Mm hmm. Crunch heaven. It's all prepared so nicely. And it's all good. It really is. Anyway, y'all. Don't forget about it here. As soon as I get me one more bite of this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Y'all really go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I got a few things I got to do. Mm-hmm. I do. For one, feel some of this off. You hear me? Mm-hmm. But, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I really do. So today, we're just about to eat. Now, I had some I wanted to talk about, but I had to try all of this, time and see what I thought about it, and give you my honest opinion. You know? Because when we do these things, we want you to go and support these people if the food is good. And especially if the service is good. And the service here was excellent. It was, um, this here is so interesting to me. Y'all, I think them plantains in there. I don't know what it is, but I think them plantains, it's like, a, it, it tastes like when you put it in your mouth, it has a texture of potato. But it has a sweetness to it, too. I think it's a plantain. Anyway, I'm going to get up out of here. So I'm going to do jam. Thank you guys so much for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one of you. Because you didn't have to be here. You could have chose to be anywhere else in the world. But you chose to be right here with us. And we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I make this silly jam. Right around we go. Right around we go. I love you guys so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. So you guys look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you said I to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> Woo. This is good. It's good. It is. It is good. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> How feel got me right there. See so y'all. I tell y'all, 2023. We're trying some new things. Okay. So once again, y'all, this came from Cunch Heaven. Mm-hmm. Cunch Heaven, honey. It says 635 Peach Street Boulevard, Atlanta, Georgia, 30360. That's not Atlanta though. What is that over there? Doorbell? I don't know. It say Atlanta, Georgia, 30360, but that's not Atlanta. Is, is it Doorbell? I think that's Doorbell. I don't know, but it says Atlanta, Georgia. That's the address that's on here, okay? So it says 6 
035 Peachtree Boulevard, Atlanta, Georgia, 30360. Akira was our receptionist that waited on us, and she was magnificent, y'all. Conch heaven, it's good. You never tried conch before. Like I said, if I if I were you, I would get a variety of things. Uh just like anyway else. Uh something you never tried before. You get a variety of it, you know, in different ways that it's made. And let's see what you like. Um I happen to like all of these. Uh like I said, this here, this crack conch, crack conch, is my least favorite on its own. Add it with the rice and peas in there, busting. Um but it's all good. Dip it in what sauce? I did. I did dip it in the orange sauce. I still don't. I still like everything else better. Now, but when you put the piece of rice with it, it's in now. It's in now. Uh, but anyway, new things. Okay. I love y'all. I'm out. Bye.